Hi, this is Darren Power from uh, BettingSchool.com with a follow-up video of um, the Grass Betting Assistant and today I'm going to look at actually writing some macros in uh, Visual Basic for applications and we'll just look at the basics so you can see how to um, get yourself started with uh, some more complex routines. So if you watch the previous videos you'll know we created this very simple spreadsheet and all it does is it just sets these three flags if the third favorite is greater than five it'll set that to a one if that same third favorite is smaller than eight it'll set that to one and if it's more than two away from the favorite it'll set that to one and when all three of them equal one then we have a little if statement in here that says if ad7 equals three then write lay in there and we just lay at the current odds to a two pound stake and that's what it does. Now what I want to do today is I want to um, do just exactly the same thing but by using a macro in Visual Basic for applications. So the way we do that is we go to the Tools menu and Macro and we choose the Visual Basic Editor. So we open that up, click here on Sheet 1 and what we want to do is choose the worksheet and we want to on calculate do something so what we're saying there is in that sheet one when the sheet calculates run the commands that we put in this subroutine here between this start of this worksheet calculate subroutine and the end of the subroutine you don't really need to know much about that but other than whatever you write in here will be activated each time the spreadsheet is calculated. Now the spreadsheet is calculated every time that um, a cell changes in the spreadsheet. So that means every time the betting assistant updates the prices and data etc within the spreadsheet then this routine will run. So to make our, um, our tool do exactly the same thing as it does now all we have to do is to write an if routine in there and then every time the, cal the cell calculates or every time the spreadsheet calculates it will check this if statement and if it's true it will do what we tell it to do and if it's false it will do otherwise so all we need to do is to emulate this so it's if ad7 equals 3 then um, we want to write lay in that cell and if it doesn't we want to make that cell blank now the way you reference a cell within uh, Visual Basic for applications is um, by a row so a row 7 and then instead of a letter we count on um, in column numbers so Z is column 26 27 28 29 30 so it's cell 730 that we want to reference here so what we're going to say is if sheet 1 so we're working with sheet 1 and then we write cells so we're referencing a cell within sheet 1 and we said it was row 7 column 30 okay so we're referencing that shout that cell AD7 we're saying if that cell equals and um, we want it to say if it equals 3 then we're going to do something and what we're going to do is we're going to make sheet 1 same sheet cells and it's 7 and the column is this column here Q and Q is uh, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. So if 7, 17, uh, sorry, we want to make 7, 17 equal quotes, L-A-Y quotes. Now if that isn't true, so if sheet 1 cells 730 doesn't equal 3, then Uh, I should have written else, my mistake, else 
we want this sheet one cell seven seventeen to equal blank and then we just need to say that's the end of our if statement okay so that's our little routine that does exactly the same thing so every time that spreadsheet updates we will the the um, code here will look at that cell that ad7 see if it equals 3 if it does equal 3 it will write the word lay in 717 if it doesn't equal 3 it will make that cell blank so it does exactly the same as the spreadsheet already does so you might think well what's the point of um, doing exactly the same thing within a macro that you can do within the spreadsheet just using um, standard functions but the thing is you can um, you can do much more with the macros you could create multiple dependent rules you could record data for later use so for example the balance you could record the balance before you place your bet and then again after you placed your bet and use that to um, operate some sort of staking plan so by recording the balance before and after you can see whether you won on the last bet or not and adjust your stakes accordingly you could use um, the macros to cancel unmatched bets or you could use it to keep a log of what bets you have fired into the market and which have been successful and um, really the the sky is the limit you can um, anything that can be worked out from the data that is available within the spreadsheet um, can be the basis of a system that you create so um, lots of potential and um, as it says on the screen we're going to exploit some of this potential within um, the betting school insiders club we've just clicked off a project where we're going to build an automated betting tool for our members and um, we've started getting some interesting ideas for what this tool will do and we're going to select one of those ideas build the tool and show members how we built the tool so they'll know how to do um, how to create their own ideas in the future and then we'll give the tool to all of the club members if you're interested in being involved with that or you just want to find out more about the club if you just go to bettingschool.com forward slash private you'll find details of the club there and um, how to join in should you want to okay I've been Darren Power from the bettingschool.com I hope you've enjoyed this short video